Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we're looking at another quality bit of equipment that you can buy at home that's not going to break the budget. Um, it's lighting equipment and it is the Sealy LED 67, which is a 50 watt LED floodlight. Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. So we're doing another video today in the middle of freezing cold winter on lighting. Now, about a month ago, I invested in this kind of Sealy LED 360CM, which is a handheld inspection torch, professional grade thing that lots of body shops kind of use for giving you a truer indication of color, as well as giving you the kind of better color for doing color matching. It is also a very intense kind of inspection torch, which is good for like showing defects and in particular swirls. That's what I bought it for, so I can have a look when I'm doing paint correction and use it to kind of find the swirls that I wouldn't otherwise see without an intense light. Um, so that's one part of one part of the puzzle, a torch that you can hold and move around and get the different angles. And it's not always, as I've found out recently, it's not always about getting it to angle it in into your eyeball. Sometimes the best way to show up the swirls is to actually shine the light in the direction you're looking because it kind of bounces back off one side of the scratch, I assume. But you're always kind of constantly moving the torch around. But anyway, let's not get too carried away with that. So I was impressed with this little bit of kit. It was about 40 to 45 quid, which I thought was really, really good value. And it was kind of like a price that I was comfortable paying. The cheapest I could do it with the DIY sun gun solution. This cost me about sort of a tenner for the bulb and then you can pick the drills up on eBay second hand or something like that. So you're, so you're talking about 20 odd quid to do it, to, to do the DIY kind of solution. And these halogen bulbs are not as bright, but they are sometimes, it's a different type of light. And sometimes that light could be beneficial. So perhaps I would keep this, you know, if I was in the trade, maybe as an alternative. But for a guy, for a guy at home really, I just want a couple of bits of kit that I can use. So I'll probably be, binning this and the batteries are not great either and binning my existing kind of halogen workshop lights which are down here but anyway this video is to talk about the bit of accompanying kit that I've got for the handheld inspection and that is the floodlight from Sealy which is the it's called the LED 067 that's the that's the uh, model number so it's the Sealy color match floodlight if you like it's a 50 watt bit of kit that kicks out 4,000 lumens of light so it's supposed to with with a color in, rendering index a CRI of 95 so this thing is supposed to mimic kind of daylight with the intensity of the light and it is ridiculously bright guys I'll overlay some shots of how this lights up a dark kind of um, dark kind of garage it's got quite a big fan out on it guys so you can really put this down on the floor or you could mount it to a sort of trolley with wheels if you wanted it a little bit higher, but you don't need to. You can adjust the angle on the stand. You put this in the background on the area you're working on, you fire it up, and it will just plaster the whole area in light. You can pick this up and kind of inspect with it as, as well, but it's almost a little bit too bright, um, especially looking, you don't want to stare at this bulb, guys. It is very, very bright, and even staring at the reflection is probably going to give you a little bit of dazzle. So you want it in the background somewhere to light up the entire area and then you would use the little inspection torch for actually, you know, looking for the swirls and all that sort of stuff. How much does this bit of kit cost? It's normally, the RRP for it with VAT is normally 190 quid, which um, doesn't sound cheap, but here's the thing. Um, at the moment, Sealy did some sort of sale on it where the RRP dropped down to 110 pounds and there are guys at the moment, I don't know if this price is gonna last forever, it's December 2018 now, there are guys selling it on Amazon for 92 quid, including delivery, which is a really, really good price. So perhaps now is a good time to buy it. I don't know if that price is gonna be relevant at the time you're watching the video, so always, you know, always check prices, but the best price I can find, I'll stick in the link, was 92 quid delivered. So that is it really guys. I've invested in this bit of kit because I wanted something brighter primarily and I wanted something a little bit more compact that I could put away. It isn't going to take up 
as much space in my garage and I wanted something that's a little bit more easy to move around when I'm kind of doing the detailing. Up until now, like I said, I've been using that, but my workshop lighting has just been a very cheap pair of 400 watt halogens, which kick out a nice kind of orangey, it's almost like a softer light. It's not as bright, but it's a good light. Um, but the, but the, the main thing is this is more kind of intense, the light coming out of this. It's a hell of a lot brighter. And it's just a little bit less fiddly than this thing, moving it around and adjusting it. This is all a little bit clunky. And the only other downside with the, with the cheaper kind of halogens is that the bulbs, if you're running it for hours and hours, the bulbs can pop. So you do tend to get through bulbs. The quality of the bulb does make a difference. If you go and buy the cheap ones on eBay, you know, 2p for 500 bulbs, they pop every 10 minutes. If you spend a little bit more money and buy bulbs that cost about two quid each from a, from a brand or a manufacturer that you recognize, they tend, to, they tend to be able to cope with being on for longer. But yeah, I've had a pr problem with one particular side, the bulbs popping quite a lot. So I'm probably gonna bin this now, guys. I've definitely got my money's worth out of it. This I might keep, I'm not entirely sure. One thing I did notice is that when I was up in the UK detailing doing the doing this wash mitt testing on soft acrylics. Sometimes a softer light can be good for very fine swirls, but to be honest, the key thing is really moving the light source around. Um, you know, perhaps at, there's, there's certain levels where you might, might want to collect loads of different light sources and different types. But for me at home, I'm not really at that level and I'm more than happy with what these two bits of kit now give me and the main thing guys is the price so at the moment you could pick up both of these for around about you know go and look obviously but at the time i shoot this video you get your hands on both of these for around about 130 quid and they are solid solid bits of kit that should last you well and they're professional grade equipment that's kind of used in um, workshops up and down the country. So take care and I'll see you on the um, next video on the channel. Bye for now. Holding on to what I knew But the moment's gone Where was I when